Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is 2009 NEDM here. Where we left off, we uh, get out of that place where uh, the bulldozer was, and now we're gonna head to our kidnapper near the coal mine. So let's get that. Did I walk all the way over there? Yeah, but that's not preferred. I don't even know what's over there. Oh yeah, I'll go back to there later. Call my museum. Oh man, what a... Oh wait, can I get in the car or no? I don't know yet. Huh. Because I mean... Let's see. Yeah, what the heck am I doing? Get in the car. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. Oh well, yeah, that is stuck. Are you kidding me? The bridge collapsed? You've got to be ki Okay. Well, I don't see any manuscript here, so... Alright, let's just keep going to the coal mine. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Where's the cops? I don't know, whatever. Oh, this bridge too. What happened to this car over here? Uh, it doesn't say anything, okay. Come on, Alan, don't get tired, let's go. Okay, I see stairs there. Is there a thermos around here? <clears throat> yep, there you go. Alright, cut some time. Man, it's such a big area. I swear, I feel like I can see a manuscript around here or something. Too bad that one gets tired really, really quick. Oh, well, it's this way anyways, right? Okay. Alright. Don't worry, Alan, we're almost there. God, no way. I need to get the car. Should be a car here, right? Please be a car. Yeah, thank God there's a car here. Alright. Oh, a nice radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of. 
abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Haha, <laughs> man, he's been shaken up, huh? Alright. Wow, alright. Didn't really matter. Alright, let's go. The bridge hasn't collapsed? Cool, cool, alright. Slow visibility. No way, man. No, I don't even care. Let's go. Pedal to the freaking meadow. This car is kind of having a hard time trying to pick up the base here. Alright. Oh, I could drive this car too. It's huh. up here. KBF-FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night. Is that it? All right, man. All right. Don't worry, man. You'll find love next time. Just don't dwell on it. Like you said, just keep moving forward. All right. <clears throat> oh, really? That did... Okay, whatever. All right, back to the car. Let's go meet that kidnapper. I'm surprised I haven't found any manuscript for it now. Right here. 
White Falls Coal Mine, Washington Mining Corporation. Well, yeah, of course I'm gonna park at visitors. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. The thing is, why the heck at noon? Why not later? Like, earlier. Alright. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at. And the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shaft particularly, particularly dangerous. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, who's like, why is there no one here? Oh, it's not right here. Cool. Alright, let's read it. Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Huh. Okay. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32, yeah, or flood. 32 miners loved their, lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Yeah, historical, but I don't even think. The darkness is going to come by and it's just going to destroy this place. You can feel it. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. <laughs> 